on your side has learned one of the Tampa General employees who tested positive for the coronavirus worked with some of the hospital's most at-risk patients. This employee was stationed at the hospital's infusion center where, for example, cancer patients receive chemotherapy. Eight on your side investigator Masa Saidi broke this story online today. She joins us live from the news center tonight. Masa? And Stacy, the hospital just informed us that they are confirming our report. They say the infusion center has been shut down so that it can be cleaned. Now, earlier we were told that four hospital workers tested positive for COVID-19. But as you said right off the top, tonight that number is already up to six. And they're exposed more than almost anybody else. Tonight, six employees at Tampa General have tested positive for the coronavirus. That includes a worker in the hospital's infusion center. Jay Wolfson, a professor of public health at USF, explains why this is significant. Patients in this wing can have an extremely compromised immune system. Yes. Infusion centers provide uh, infusion therapy for a lot of cancer patients, which means that you are more susceptible in the first place if you are exposed to contracting the disease. Right now, Tampa General is contacting all patients who may have come into contact with this employee. The hospital says they're seeing travel and community spread. In a statement, Tampa General CEO says in part, quote, as such, we are screening all team members and physicians upon entering the hospital and testing as appropriate. This is a hospital that employs more than 8,000. So far, six employees have been sent home to self-isolate. They won't be back until they test negative for the virus twice. You and I and each one of your viewers is really the front line of defense protecting themselves and everybody else every single day. Such important advice. Now, Tampa General is also limiting visitation. Sources tell us that starting next week, the hospital plans on taking the temperature of anyone entering the building. Stacy, they are trying to stop the spread in any way that they can. And I know a lot of patients rely on that infusion center. It must be very busy. Do we know when it's going to open again? So yeah, the hospital says that right now it's being thoroughly cleaned and disinfected, and they say that they hope it's going to be back up and running by tomorrow. All right, Masa Saidi, live in the Tampa News Center. Thank you. And if you have something you would like Masa to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline. The number on your screen, 1-800-338-0808.